Morning guys, so welcome back. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I'm Rob, I'm an English gold prospector. And today, me and Ash have decided to hit a gravel bar. We've been iron up for a long time. Haven't dug any great big holes in a while, so let's find some shiny, shall we? So what a beautiful spot this is. Nice sunny morning. Clouds are clear, a bit fresh, dew on the ground, love it. So we've got a big gravel bar all along here. And it looks to me like it's an old bench deposit. You've got the old riverbed just along there. So uh, let's get digging. So here he is, Ash's hole. He's digging behind there, swimming around on the rock, panning straight out. And look at that for a beautiful piece of gold. Absolutely lovely. Well done, mate. Tree returns. So walking along this gravel bar, there's some nice big boulders along here. So we're gonna give a couple of them a shift and have a look behind here. First parent run, leave that big boulder. Let's have a look, shall we? Not a speck. Let's just overbird it. Here we have it. I'm a few feet down now into the hole. Bucket material to rod. Let's take it over to the river. So here we go on a nice comfy rock. Always good to sit on a good rock. So I've got a bucket material ready to be worked. Pan. Let's get on with it. Here it is, nice bucket material from that hole. It managed to uh, sort of pump out because Scott had a uh, Spanner with him, which is really, really handy to have. I mean, my pump was absolutely terrible at the time. So, fingers crossed, I'm now able to pump out the bottom of my hole, and I should get all that gold that's sucked down from the bottom because it's heavy, will sink to the bottom of your hole, and all the good stuff will be down there. The colour of the water is like chocolate milk, it's fantastic, real good stuff. Just hopefully, the gold's as good as the water is. There's a nice piece of pottery in the bottom of my hole, um, which I broke up with the, uh, the shovel by accident. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to piece it back together, but it looks so cool, really shiny, really nice and uh, patterned around the edges. Looks like quite a bit of like a dish or something. So let's have a look. First pad from the bottom of that hole. Lots of hematite in there. Quite a big backwash. Nothing I can see straight on. So let's see what we're going to do with a speed pad. So one of you might have to do One micro spec. Ooh, nice little piece there. Let's just switch the camera around so you can see better. So there's one little micro spec to the left. So got a piece just there. And a piece over here as well so far. Look at all that heavy hematite small rock sand there. Black sands. Is there gonna be any more hidden in? Like I say, 
We're not gold rich over here in the UK. There's another little piece just appeared there, look. One, two, three. Four. A pan rises over the top. So there we go. I don't know where you can see, but there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. They are close up. Can't grumble, not really. Not really. There's a nice wiry piece there. That's pretty cool. on the uh, sluice, three nice little pieces. Can't grumble. We've also got the English Prospectors merchandise available now, link in the description. So there's the sluice. Let's see a tiny little speck of gold. There he is. Actually, he's just found a marble. material from the bedrock itself. Hopefully this is where all my gold has been hiding. One tiny little speck in pan number one. Minuscule. You know I said that I can't get it wet. Yeah, I fell out my pocket straight in the hole. Spent a good five minutes looking in the hole for it. <laughs> yeah. And you know how chocolatey and dirty the water is as well, so it's like looking for a fucking needle in a haystack. No. I know. Finding my own phone back. I was tempted, right, because I lost it in there for a little bit. I was saying, do I stick my shovel in there and try and get it? I was like, no, my luck. It's going straight, to straight through the screen. So we're going to be in this one. There. One wiry piece. I want a really wiry piece. So just there. So here it is. Here's my pit. Nice chocolatey covered milky water. Those boys over there seem to be doing all right. Ash is proper on the go. It's only just started seeing the side of bedrock. Let's see how they get it on. So I've got my little backpack to loose up. Tell her that. Absolutely brilliantly. 
Nice and scrape, big stick. Nice chocolate recovery again. All night you want They're never turning. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. It's a good band. And I've still getting on. Oh, there's one back there, isn't there? Oh, no, there's not. Yeah, one. So it might not be. I don't know. No, I don't think it is. Mm. And he's digging just behind this boulder. Boulder's a king. Ash has got a really cool piece. Okay. Number five, 51. 51. Is that how many grams you're finding today, Yeah. <laughs> 51 grams. See, well, so we just rolled that one out of the way. Just got to carry on with his hole there. And then we just rolled that bad boy out of the way. Rash to carry on. You can tell it's been there for a while. It's got rusty and dark ears on bottom. On the top. So you can clearly see the water line in it. Interesting to see what he pans out of there. Top of the hill. So come on again guys, what's the most strangest thing you've found out on the river? Today I found some really weird stuff. Anybody knows what this is. Like, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. I mean, if you've lost one, I know where it is. Some real cool pieces in China. It's quite pretty. I broke it up though, I didn't realise. Must have hit it with a spade. Some bottles. Bolt, round a piece of metal, and another. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. It's like a piece of chalk. It's a god knows. So, what's the most randomest thing you found on the river? Let me know in the comments below. Get on me. First round from that hole. Yeah, just one little tiny speck. One micro dot. I've got a clear one for you. Hello. Hello. It's about four in your hole. Good morning. Time for a snuffer dump. So, end of the day, this is what Ashley got.